Hey guys, what's up? The Google Pixel is the latest and one of the greatest Android devices available in the market right now. And in this video, we'll show you how to make your Redmi Note 3 look exactly like the Google Pixel. Let's get started. So before starting, you'll need to have your bootloader unlocked and also have a custom recovery installed. Start by turning off your device and wait for it to completely turn off. Then press volume up and the power button simultaneously. And then leave them once you see the Mi logo. Now you'll boot into the recovery. Also you'll need to download 3 zips for this. The ROM, the pixel modifier and the Google Apps from the links in the description box below. You can save them either in the internal storage or in the memory card. Also make sure to make a backup of your previous ROM. Now head to wipe and swipe to factory reset. Once done, go back to the main menu and head to install. Head to the folder where the ROM was saved at. Mine is in the SD card. Select the ROM and then press add more zips. Then select the pixel zip. Again press add more zips and this time select the Google Apps. And now swipe to flash all of these together. It will flash the zips one by one. Once done, hit reboot. The boot logo also includes the Google logo. For the first boot, it could take around 4 to 5 minutes, so be patient. So the phone has finally booted up, looks exactly like the Google Pixel. Let's take a look at the Android version. It is running on the latest Android Nugget 7.1.1. It exactly looks and works like the Google Pixel. Starting off with the app draw, you swipe up like in the Pixel. The animation on the home button. The app switcher. The long press shortcuts on Google and the built-in apps. The notification bar, the quick setting toggles. All of this is exactly similar to the Google Pixel. Taking a look at the settings. For customization, you can edit your button settings, including how your navbar looks like and what each button does, etc. Also, you can edit your status bar, including your battery status settings. Now coming to what's working and what's not. Both the SIM cards work with the network and data. Volte also works. If it does not work for you, you can flash the fix given below. And Wi-Fi also works. So does the camera. Image capture mode works just fine. Let's take a look at the video mode. Working as usual, no issues. So basically everything is working out of the box, no problems. Also the ROM is pretty smooth to start off and looks great as well. So I recommend this ROM to you, you can use this as your daily driver. Also we have a Ufield Millennia giveaway still active, you can use the link to participate in it and stand a chance to win it. So guys this is it from the video, hope you enjoyed it, thank you so much for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.